Hello YouTube, this is Shark Record Films and today I have another vintage television for you guys. And today I'm very excited to showcase my 12 inch Emerson black and white television from 1984. I have another uh, Emerson television from 1987. And it's color and it's got a remote. Thing is, I never tested this television. I know it works, but I never tested it. I never saw it with a with a pattern generator. I never hooked it up to cable or a digital converter. Never. And I also never cleaned it, really. <laughs> I never actually like cleaned uh, everything. See, the buns are like very dirty, as you can see here. Now, let me uh, go into great detail here as I explain how I got this television. So, I bought this television off eBay for about 20 bucks. Very cheap. It was a uh, bidding. And, of course, the seller was like, buy it now for 50 bucks or uh, go to the auction and um, it'll start off at 20 bucks. Guess what? Nobody wanted the television nobody bid i was the only one and i bid like a dollar extra boom i won i just won myself a 1984 emerson television i just want you to guys i just want to emphasize on this part is specifically look at how thin this tv is this is a crt television look at it so thin I, I this is from 1984. I'm pretty sure. I have a K part from 1984. Okay, there's an annotation right here, and there'll be a link in the description. It is so huge. It's only an inch. The screen is only an inch bigger, but boy, is the depth. It's really deep. It's really heavy, and it's really big. So the fact that it's a black and white television. Uh, it's pretty clear it's uh, way smaller and a lot lighter. It's very light, very, very light. Now, it's very messy because I've had it in uh, storage or in hiding for a very long time and I never really um, did much with it. And uh, these antennas, as you can see, they're all uh, rusty, dirty, and old. See, I never really got around to f actually cleaning this television, actually trying it out but uh today i will do that today i will dissect the thing okay so um we'll first do that by taking off this weird one antenna uh antenna <laughs> pretty much wow okay okay that's old i'll have to clean that later that's i've never had something like that before that's pretty unique and it's only taking one thing there okay that's cool all right, so uh, the next thing I'll have to do is I'll have to take off the cables here. I will test this television today with the Tenma pattern generator. So as you can see, I did a very good job um, securing this right here. I'll have to pause the video. Okay, I took the cable out but now i'll have to unscrew the uhf and vhf antennas um i'm not using my tripod because i found it really annoying to work around it and get my voice in the video because i'm using a phone so i feel more comfortable just holding the phone like this and i can emphasize detail where i want it to so just having it in one spot and not showing anything uh, right now, I think I'll have to pause the video again because I can't do this with one hand. Alright, that was very easy. I just took off that one little antenna for the UHF. I don't know why you would want this. I mean, really, I, I have a few that have two. Two rod antennas. But only like one little thing there and then two. I just don't... I mean, were you that poor that you could only afford one rod? I mean, come on, you could get two rods, man. Two rod antenna. 
Whatever, at least the person had a VHF antenna at least. Now I have to unscrew this. Ugh. Oh yeah, and guys, I forgot to mention, this is how the TV came in the mail. This this is literally how it was. So I think what I'm trying to point out here is that this is how the TV was left in 1984 or 1990 or whenever the user stopped using this television, they clearly did not touch it at all. There is dust. It is dirty. This is how the antenna was back then. Where, how, to whatever point it was screwed in, the guy probably screwed in in 1984. So this is how it was. This is a time capsule right here. This is how it looked like. If you're wondering how it was back in the day, that's how it was. I just took off the rod antenna. I should have waited to tell you guys this, but there you go. Now let me take this off. Okay, I took all the antennas off. Let me move this aside. So this is what we have here. We have the VHF antenna right here and the UHF antenna. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit rusty. I mean, not that rusty. It's in very good condition, actually. It's very, it's perfectly circular. And it's not that dirty. I could probably wipe it right off and it'll look just as new. Uh, same goes for this one. This one isn't that bad actually at all. Let me bring in my other old antenna. Here's my other old antenna. As you can see, uh, I got this one from my 1987 Gold Star, which I just finished making a video about. As you can see, the television is not circular anymore there's a small dent right fucking there and it, it ruins the shape it's not it's not i mean it's still circular but it looks ugly um but this when i got this it was so it was brown it was brown it was rusty it was oxidized um i uh, uh rubbed it with uh, some water and uh, vinegar and it pretty much does it if you ever want to get rust off something minor just use vinegar and water uh, as you can see it's still rusty there i haven't cleaned that but that's how it looked like this one on the other hand is actually pretty good it's in color all i need is just to wipe it with water disinfecting wipe but my old one just see how bad bad condition this is and then you got this thing which is actually pretty good so i appreciate that that's cool and then this antenna is fine i have a ton of these so it's all it's all good. Now let me bring this. Uh, how am I gonna bring this back? All right. Now there's this thing, which I guess is like an internal thing for the TV. But um, yeah. There we go. Um. So there's a little slot here. This is for your hand. Um. This is pretty much what I use as well. There's small cobwebs and stuff there. Uh, nothing that bad. I just stick your fingers in there and lift the television. It's very lightweight, easy to carry, you know. Um, wow, you can really see through everything, huh? Uh, back here you got V-hold and you got H-hold. Uh, I think that's pretty much useless now. Nowadays because we have, um, we're not using over the air, you know, uh, analog signals. Back here, this is where the stuff is juicy, you know, this is what we all want to see here. Emerson, model number, B121. Okay, so uh, right here, I've got a 1984 Emerson B121. Uh, AC, 120 volts, uh, 60 hertz, and 40 watts. So, uh, pretty average, normal. Um, UL t listed, home TV, yup, yup. Uh, Emerson, made in Korea, just like my, uh, Gold Star. Uh, serial number, KB4031-1936. Uh, Emerson Radio Corporation, 1 Emerson Lane, Sioskis in New Jersey. Uh, manufactured March 1984. So, uh, there you have it, right there. 1984 long time ago 
Now, this is a tiny TV, by the way. Let me just put my hand by there somewhere just to show you guys. This is my hand right here. Tiny, tiny television. Very tiny. My hand covers almost the whole screen. And it's 12 inches. This is standard. This was standard up to 2008 or whatever when CRTs were stopped manufactured. So uh, let me get my... Uh, uh, my bag of goodies and uh, get my little transformer and I'll be right back. Alright YouTube, quick lesson. Alright, for those of you who aren't necessarily aware or familiar with old televisions like this, uh, let me give you some advice. Now, let's say you have a television like this with these kind of inputs or outputs and you have, a, a, let's say, a converter box or a cable box that has something like this called RF, this right here, or um, co coax, or coaxial, or coaxial, something like that. How do you connect this to this? Now, I know what most of you young folks are saying is no, this television is absolute useless. I gotta put it in the dumpster and let the trash man crush this television because clearly I am so ignorant and stupid to figure out how to do this well don't worry guys you don't need to do that because I got the just a solution it's right here it's called a UHF VHF FM matching transformer basically you just screw this on to these two right here UHF VHF your pick and then you plug this into the cable or whatever and just plug it into there it's that simple. You just let it hang there and you can plug it in and stuff. So uh, for all you guys that were wondering or have already uh, destroyed your television because you couldn't figure this out, that's what you gotta do. So uh, I'll connect this and uh, I'll be right back. And there we go. It's connected. Well, not quite. I still need to plug this into the pattern generator I have right here. Well, how am I going to do that? Well, I got the cable right here. I just plug that into there and then that into there. And then let's see what happens. All right. Well, that's plugged in. Looking good. Uh, that goes there. Cable goes there. And it goes into the Tenma pattern generator. Now we need to find the power cord to the pattern generator so I can turn it on. All right. There we go. Now we're pretty much set. Uh, is the VHF set to channel 3? Why, yes it is. Is the pattern generator set to channel 3? Yes it is. So everything should work smoothly. Let's see what happens. First things first, let me turn on the television. Now, um, uh, let's see if you guys can figure this out. You've got one knob that says VHF, one knob that says UHF, and you got these three small knobs that says bright, contrast, and volume. How do you turn the TV on? I'll give you 10 seconds. Wrong. Or right. It's volume. Now you have to wait a little bit until the TV turns on. Alright, so we got some. We got snow, we got snow, okay. Okay. Alright, let's see what happens. Channel 2. Not the clearest picture, of course, because we're only getting snow. So now let's turn on the pattern generator. So, uh, is it... Power, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so there we go. All right, okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, because this is a black and white television, we can't have color on, we can't have chroma, it needs to be off. So now we're getting, see that's color, that's chroma. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. This is awesome. 
Now, of course, I have to say this in every video, you are not going to see what I'm seeing right now. You are watching on your phone or on your laptop or computer with an LCD or LED screen. Of course, you're not going to see what I see. I probably see a lot, clicker, uh, lot clearer and um, better because I'm here in person. Now, whenever I see something, see like that line right there, these lines, that is not happening on TV. That's only on your screen because your screen and my camera can't keep up with the refresh rates of this cathode ray tube. So let's move on. Let's see what we can change here. So let's go ahead and go to the next pattern. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So that's supposed to be red. That's supposed to be green. And that's supposed to be blue. And that's supposed to be gray. Of course, we're, this is a black and white television, so we don't see anything. Now let's go to the next one. Okay, we've got a line. Oh, oh, it's, is, is it going to straighten out? There we go. Nice. Great job. Uh, see, the television it takes a while to get its uh, thing going, but once it gets... Oh, no. What, yeah, there we go. It, it, it does it. It can figure it out. So there's these like weird lines here, but it, it eventually just goes away. Okay, so I, I'm I'm seeing something here too. It's it's wavy. That's what it's well. That's what's happening. Let's go to this one. Yeah, here we can really see the waves just going. And it's gonna come up through here, isn't it? Yep, that's yeah, that's what's gonna happen. That's what's happening. Let's go to this one. Nothing, it's just blank. Weird. Oh boy, whoa. Alright, that's what I'm uh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So we got lines. See chroma Chroma messes it up. So that's chroma on and then that's chroma off. Yeah. Yeah, the connection is n isn't that strong. We have to give it a little bit. All right. Okay. Can it figure it out? This television is having problems, clearly. I used to have a 1981 Samsung, and if I smacked the TV on the side or front, the picture would get good again. Alright, let's try something different. Let's try channel 4. Absolutely. Okay, let's try channel 2 through 5. 4. Oh, that's 5. Nothing. Back to channel 3. My best guess is that something's happening here. Something with this is not getting a strong connection. Let me uh, troubleshoot this, guys, and I'll be back to you guys. All right, YouTube, I got it back again. Um, now this is something new, but I'm not sure. There's these knobs here, and then there's this also this little ring here, and I can turn this. And when I turn it, it actually affects the picture. As you can see. So, it seems like this is a fine-tuning thing. See, see how the picture goes back there? I have to fine-tune it again. But it, it loses it. Of course, this is a black-and-white television, and it's not the greatest. Uh, let me go back to these lines. This is what I was looking at before and it completely screwed me over Looking at these lines really messed it up 
The dot is okay. Okay. It's all fine. At least I think. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. That's that's a good picture. All right. See, okay, so there's like a wave of lines, but I, I'm gonna have to blame the connection for that. Of course, it's not gonna give the best connection. See, it's it's already gone now. It's just there, there's no guaranteed good. See, it's. Just, Oh, 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 almost there. Am, am, am I losing my mind, or does this little ring here actually affect the picture? Because that's what it feels like, to be honest. Anyways, I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just wasting my time. You already, you guys already saw how it looked like. It looks fine. Um, It is a little bit wavy. But it is a black and white television. You can't really expect too much from it. Um, this, overall though, this is an absolutely amazing television set. That That's something that you're just going to have to admit. It looks amazing, okay? Alright guys, we're near the end of this review. And um, I gotta say, I tested the television. Um, I pretty much got what I expected. It's a black and white television from the early 80s. It doesn't perform very well. Um, I'm gonna have to blame it on the connection. Um, I don't know about the cathode ray tube. I think it's fine. Maybe there's something wrong. Maybe not. You guys might have to tell me in the comments below. Um, but I think it's fine. The knobs are sturdy. I learned something new about those rings there. I don't know if I'm losing my mind, if I'm insane or what. But you guys are going to have to tell me that. Um, I am going to give it a good cleaning. Um, when I do, I will post pictures. And I'll put it in the video. Maybe it'll roll after uh, I'm done with this video. But I just want to give a final look around. Because this is... I mean, whether you like it or not, this TV looks cool. It is badass. I mean, just fucking look at it, man. I mean, just look at it right there. Imagine if it wasn't a CRT. Imagine if there was no back. It was. It just cut right there, and the screen worked. That'd be cool. I mean, it's just a television with style, man. It just looks cool. That's all you gotta admit. And the stimulated wood... Is his stickers right there? I mean, I know. Watch out, guys! I know you might you might have thought this is real wood, but it's not. It's stimulated, and of course. That's just cool. The back of it is like, eh, but whatever. It's it's a cool TV. It's black and white. Who cares? I'm probably never gonna watch this in real life. I just have it here because I mean, it looks cool. Just look at it, bro. It's a cool TV. It looks cool. It's awesome. I like it. It performs okay. It's average. It's mediocre. <laughs> you know, black and white TV, whatever. I mean, what are you going to expect, really? It's a good TV. It works like it should, okay? Uh, I like this TV, and um, I hope you like this review, too. And I hope you comment. I hope you like. And if you're new, I really hope you subscribe. Because I love these TVs, I love vintage electronics, and I love to review them. And I would love to make more reviews. So go ahead and subscribe if uh, you're up for it. And I also like to upload other videos too, but whatever. Anyways, this review is over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.